The more I sit and think about it, the more convinced I am that Santa attempted to pull the greatest con job in 1776 restoration move history on the evening meeting of August 3rd. And I think when I'm done explaining it, you'll see it too. So we gotta talk about the day before. They do their meeting, and there are counter protesters that can be heard. And Santa refuses to do it with them being heard. And first responders media call for the police lines to be flooded. Huge police response. The police let the counter protesters counter protest. Santa, of course, pump gets mad, ends the meeting early, whatever. And I think this is where the wheels turned in his head. Remember, the third is the dawn of the final day. They can't sleep anymore and he knows he's going to lose people. That was discussed the day before. He is going to lose members. On the 8th, he's going to lose even more because people aren't going to sit around to be taught the Constitution for three weeks. The movement is most likely going to pathetically fall apart. So what does he do? Well, August 3rd, evening meeting. He holds it in the exact same location that the counter-protesters will be close enough to hear. He made sure of that. And then, he makes sure that his members will comment saying they can't hear him. You can see him goad it. You can watch the meeting. It's very clear. And then he has them flood the police lines. This time he calls for it himself. This time he gives the phone number. Members are saying they're calling all sorts of places. The, the U.S. Marshals got called. He's not denouncing that. Police arrive. Same thing as the day before. Counter-protesters can be there. And of course, I'm not going to go into the woman that was walking down the sidewalk they went after because he couldn't have calculated that. But they all sit down again. And Big D goes and talks to an officer because you can still hear the counter-protesters and it's been addressed. He knows that they can be heard. He knew that from the day before. He has his people flood the phone lines again for the police. Now, doing that once could have possibly got the permit pulled. Doing it twice in one day, that's something else. And the police didn't pull the permit, didn't come and break up 1776. So what is the next move for Santa? He turns on his own people. And in his rant, says some very interesting things, such as, when the police come, it's not a strike against them, it's a strike against us. And mentions how it could get the permit pulled. Well, hold up. I mean, think about that for a second. If the police coming can get the permit pulled just by them being called, what does he think will happen with flooding the police line and he had them do it twice? Almost like he was trying to get the permit pulled? Trying to get the group dissolved? He mentions they're partying. They're partying too much. But he was encouraging it. This is the man that made karaoke a staple. Brought a stage to DC. Never once used it for the movement's causes. Used it one time for, you guessed it, karaoke he calls them out for being violent getting up in the face of the counter protesters and things what happened to crystal after she pepper sprayed defender of ants and got arrested what happened to justin after he assaulted wyckoff and got arrested oh yeah they were welcomed back in the group the violence was okay until it wasn't. I think, personally, Santa's plan for August 3rd was to get the permit pulled. He wanted to get the permit pulled, declare he did all he could, and the government's too corrupt, read his speech in the morning, pull that off at night, make himself a martyr, split the group up, call it. It didn't work. The police did not pull the permit because they're still giving them special privileges they don't deserve. So instead, he turned on his own people. They're the problem. They're doing the things that he encouraged, that he supported, 
that he endorsed. And that makes his own people the problem. And in that complaint, he gave away that he knew the permit was going to be risked by flooding those lines. So what do I think is going to happen now? Personally, I don't see them lasting much longer, maybe even at all tomorrow. I think Santa wants out before we get to the Constitution study phase. I think he wants to go home. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he'll decide to stick it around, but his actions from the third, I can't see as anything but wanting to destroy his own movement, to make himself a martyr, and try to end it while he still has some dignity by being able to claim the police shut them down. 